So this is uh, question six, Jan 07, is it? Uh, from the C4 paper. Um, okay, so um, we've got the points A, B and C and we're given the coordinates of those. I'm just going to rewrite those coordinates as position vectors first because I'm going to be dealing with vectors. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take those coordinates at A, B uh, and C and I'm just, I'll put them up over here actually. I'm going to say that um, A, um, or let's write it like this, O to A, because it's a position vector, um, is going to be 3, negative 2, 4, and then we'll have O to B is 5, um, 4, 0, and then we've got uh, O to C is 11, 6, negative 4. So just going to write them as vectors rather than coordinates. Okay, so the first question is how uh, we want to find the vector B to A. So can someone talk me through how we do that? How are we going to find the vector B to A? Since it's A, I, right? How to find the vector B to A? Yeah, go on. Yeah. It's O to A, take away O to B. Okay, so I've got O to A, I just wrote it over here. It's uh, 3, negative 2, 4. And I've got O to B. It's 5, 4, 0. And I just take them away from each other. So it's 3 take away 5. Is that minus 2? And then I've got, is that 2? And is that 4? Do you agree with that? Minus 6? Yeah, totally right. Jeez. I was just... Uh, I was just testing you, right? Minus 6. Okay. So B to A, negative 2, negative 6, 4. Yeah, who got that? You okay with that bit then? Okay. So the next thing is, we want to um, show that the angle ABC is uh, the inverse cos of minus 5 over 7. Now, whenever you're talking about angles, when you're talking about vectors, you, your mind should immediately jump to what? The dot product, Okay. So if I want to find um, if I want to find the angle um, ABC, then what am I going to want to dot together? What two things am I going to want to dot? We're looking at um, something like this. I'll just draw it in two D. Um, that's point A, say. That's point B, and that's point C, and we want that angle there. So what? Um, what am I going to be dotting? Yeah, I want to dot B to A. I want to do the dot product of B to A and B to C. And that should equal the magnitude of B to A multiplied by the magnitude of B to C cos theta. <coughs> okay, so we've got B to A already. So the other thing, we're just going to have to find out what B to C is. Okay, so if you could find B to A, I guess we can find B to C. So should we just work out what B to C is? Um, oh, who, who wants to do that for me? Um, B to C? Uh, just the vector, please, yeah. So how do I work it out? O to C, take away O to B, yeah. So, 11 to minus 5 is going to be 6, and then 6 take away 4 is 2, and 0, so it's minus 4 there. Are you happy with that? Okay. So, if I do the dot product of B A uh, dotted with B to C, I should get the magnitude of B A, the magnitude of B C, cos theta, but there's also that other way I can work out the dot product, which is where you multiply the X components, multiply the Y components, and so on like that. So should we, should we just work out the dot product then, get the value for the dot product? So B to A dotted with B to C should be, um, let's write it out like this, minus 2, minus 6, and 4 dotted with 6, 2, and minus 4. 
And if I dot those, I get 6 times minus 2, which is going to be minus 12. Six, uh, minus 6 times 2, so that's mi minus another 12. And then I've got 4 times minus 4, minus 16. So all together, what's that? Minus 24. Say again? Minus 40. So the value I'm looking for is minus 40. So now if I do the other way, um, what, I sh what I'm saying now is, if I'm uh, looking at the other way of doing the dot products, uh, the magnitude of BA multiplied by the magnitude of B to C cos theta should equal negative 40. So cos theta should equal negative 40 over the magnitude of B to A those on there and uh, B to C all applied together. Okay, so let's just work out what they are. Let's work out the magnitude of B to A. Well, that's just going to be um, 2 squared plus 6 squared plus 4 squared. Do you agree with that? Yeah. So what do I get if I do that? Uh, root 56. And this, the other one's exactly the same, same number. Oh yeah, it's exactly the same number. So that's going to be root 56 as well. Okay, so if I multiply them together, that's just 56, isn't it? Okay, so um, cos theta, the angle between the two, should be minus 40 over 56. I'm guessing this simplifies down to... It was minus 5 over 7, wasn't it? 5 over 7. And so theta equals cos to the minus 1 of 5, of minus 5 over 7. Okay? How's that? Who managed to do that? Very good. So, because you had to do an extra part as well, you had to find the vector, is that? Um, Brill. Okay. Right, so, that's, uh, that's good. I've lost the question. Let's have a look. What's the next thing I've got to do? So, we've done the size of the angle. That was 5 marks. So, you've already picked up, what, um, Seven marks? Excellent. So that now we've got a line equation. So let me write down the line equation. And we've got to verify that C lies on the line. So um, let me write down that line equation. In fact, can someone just call it out for me? Is this part B? Yeah. So what's the line equation? Can someone just tell me? Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Plus lambda. One, three, negative two. Okay, and can you just tell me what are we trying to com uh, convince ourselves that C lies on that line, aren't we? Okay, so um, what's C? Eleven, six, minus four. So can someone tell me uh, how, how I could do this then? How could I show that that point lies on that line? Yeah, come on, Alicia. Say again. Yeah, remember, R, R, it's not like a Cartesian equation. R is a position, okay? R is a position vector, and C is now a position vector. So these should just have the same position. So I just put them equal to each other. So I get 8, negative 3, 2, plus lambda 1, 3, negative 2. has got to be equal to... 11, 6, negative 4. So what do I do then, Alicia? Yeah, so you do, you do, you do the x component, the y component separately. So we've, we should have 8 plus lambda equals 11. Yeah. We should, is that right? Yeah. Equals 6, yeah. Negative 2 lambda equals negative 4, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, 8 plus lambda equals 11. So what do we get from the top equation? Lambda equals 3. Is that right? Do you agree with that? Um, what do we get from the second equation? Minus 3 plus 3 lambda equals 6. Well, lambda equals 3 in that one. 
and hopefully I get lambda equals 3 in this one, 2 minus 2 lots of 3 is minus 4, yeah, so lambda equals 3. So I've got to check that the lambda satisfies all 3, okay, um, but yeah, if lambda equals 3, and remember, lambda has every value on that line, um, so, um, so what we're saying is when lambda equals 3, then um, uh, R, uh, the, the line, um, the position of the line, R, is O to C. Okay, they have the same position. Okay? So I think, are we convinced that C is on the line then? Okay. Uh, last bit. Oh, is it the last bit? Is there a bit more to do? To verify C lies on the line, show that A to B is parallel to L. Oh, and that's just one mark. Can someone tell me how to do that? We've done A to B, haven't we? Oh, we've done B to A. So, can someone talk me through how to do this? How do we show that they're parallel? Brilliant, okay. Um, right. So this is C part two, this is B part two, isn't it? Now, in, from part A, we got that B to A, we got the vector of B to A. Can you tell me what that is? Minus 6 and 4. Brill. And what Darren's saying is that A to B is just minus B to A. Is that true? If I go from A to B, that's the same as doing minus B to A. That's right, isn't it? So, A to B, that must mean that A to B is minus B to A, so A to B must be 2, 6 and minus 4. Do you agree with that? Yeah? Um, now, what I think we can do here is we can um, take a factor out. We can take a scalar factor out of this vector. Can then, Vlad, what's the factor I'm going to take out of it? Two? Yeah. So this is the same as two lots of the vector one, three, and negative two. Okay. Now, let's talk about that line again. What was the uh, line equation? Can someone just remind me of that? Okay. Plus lambda one three negative two. Okay. So, are these lines parallel? Is the line, is this line here, parallel to A to B? How do we know? Because it's this bit of the line here that determines its direction, isn't it? If you remember how the line equation works, this first vector, this bit, gets you onto the line and then you move in that direction, um, given by this vector here. So the direction of this line is 1, 3, negative 2, and then AB obviously has the direction 1, 3, negative 2, so they're parallel. Okay? Convinced? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, we're on to the very last question. Uh, the quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Find the coordinates of D. So let me just draw a little picture, and then we'll see if anyone managed to do it. So um, how about we do it like this? I'm just drawing it in 2D, but just so we get our, our heads around it a little bit, OK? So that's my parallelogram. Does that look all right? And how we, what do you mean it's not parallel? Are we saying that's A, B, C, D? Do you agree with that? OK. And um, we've got the coordinates of A, B, and C, have we? Yeah. Um, now, uh, how do I find... Uh, has anyone managed to do it? Yeah? Can you talk me through it then, Harry? I don't know. It seems quite... Yeah. Um, it's only three marks, though, isn't it? It's not like a lot of marks. Say B and C. Yeah. Yeah. The, e the, the vector itself is the same, isn't it? So B to C is equal to A to D. Does everyone agree with that? Okay. And A to B is equal to D to C. I agree with that. Then I just 
you just said what, sorry? Say it one more time, because I, I keep like switching off something. Um, I just wrote D out of vector with three unknowns and those equations. Yeah. I think there's a, I think there's a quick all, yeah, it could almost immediately. Yeah. I, I think, I think there's a quick, quite a quick way of doing it, just using all the stuff we've already done, which is, um, I know the position vector of C, so o, what was O to C? I wrote it down right at the start. Can someone tell me? 11, 6, minus 4. Minus 4. Now, now let's say, where's the, oh, there we go. Let's say I have. Uh, oh, there's my picture. Let Let's say uh, I have an an origin like here, and I travel along the vector O to C. That gets me. Oh, that was rubbish. O to C is that vector there, right? Okay, gets me to point C. What do I have to add on to C to get to D? B to A. Have we got B to A? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so O to D. Right, what was B to A? We worked that out as well, didn't we? Um, minus 2, minus 6, 4. Minus 2, minus 6, 4. Okay. And what we're saying then is O, the position O to D, let's change the colour one more time, O to D is the same as going from O to C and then adding on B to A. Do you agree with that? So just look at the picture one more time. Uh, if I want to get from O to D, it's the same as going from O to C and then adding on B to A. That bit there. Because it's a parallelogram. Okay? So I think all we have to do is O to C plus B to A, so it's just 11, 6, negative 4 plus negative 2, negative 6, and 4. It's the same as what you did, yeah? Uh, 9, zero. 0, 0. Is that right? Okay? And so the position of D as a coordinate is 9, 0, 0.